They're so cute. And you collect them, right? I collect them. Oh, I From day one, I've always I collect them. <laughs> got a bag. This Has thing. he ever repeated a message? Nope. Nice. All original. <laughs> so we have our beautiful heart tablecloth area. There's a lot of here. love in here. Yes. And Fab and I decided we are going to decorate our cookies. So they're called Love Hearts. Love Hearts. The kit includes assorted candy and easy to use icing. Ooh. So it comes with two cookies. Oh, they're big. I know. I thought they are going to be a little smaller. No, so they're big cookies. They're good size. They're big. And we've got some red. We've got all kinds of like little candies. Plus, we also have some white and pink icing here. And some more, and some sprinkles. more sprinkles there. So we're going to see who creates the prettier cookie. And then well, you guys will vote down below. Okay. And then you get, you get to vote below on your comments. <laughs> Who you think cookie turned out better? Yes. So I got some bad news over the weekend that my grandson Zachary broke his foot. Oh, your cookie broke. I know, not even my love cookies can last. <laughs> Look at that. So I have a grandson that's on crutches now. Oh, and the break okay. was bad enough that if he puts any weight on his foot whatsoever, it'll break worse. So he is not in a walking boot, he's on a set of crutches, and it's, yeah. So, not good. I've never decorated cookies before. I never, I mean like, I think Well, you I, don't eat them, so I don't eat I know, but when, even when my kids were little, I don't remember doing sugar cookies, and if we did, we just kind of like, yeah. sm smeared some icing on it and just sprinkled <laughs> some stuff on So I guess we have to create something really cute. Yes, really cute. I already have an idea what I'm going to do. You already have an idea. Yeah, nice. it's be so pretty. See, he's already thought about this. Did you watch the Super Bowl? A little bit. Not okay. really Not really the Super Bowl. I, I think I watched the last two minutes of uh -huh. the Super Bowl, but I did catch the halftime show. The halftime show. So what did you think of the halftime show? I thought it was great. Very, um... Did you know all the singers? OG. Eminem, Stim Dog, Ray J. Blige, Dr. Dre, Eminem, did I say Eminem? Mm -hmm. And Kendrick Lamar, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're all the OGs. All the OGs and new Kendrick Lamar, because he's well, freshly new. Yeah, he's, but he's 34, so it's not like he's young. Right. But I mean, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, yeah. those yeah. are like. Yeah. The real goats. Who won? <laughs> Who won? The game. <laughs> LA. Oh, okay. <laughs> you knew they were going to win. I'm like, who won? Come on. <laughs> you knew they were going to win. Okay, so we got pink, we got white. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with some pink. Yeah, I don't eat. I think the other day when I ate a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, that was the first sweet you've probably ever really seen me eat. Literally. I was like, who got these cookies? Just because I'm, I'm just not a sweets person. And then I saw you eating it and I was like, oh. But I do like white chocolate macadamia nuts. So that's probably the only cookie you'll ever see me eat. I don't eat pies. I don't. I'm just not a sweets person. Did you guys go out for Valentine's? We did. We went out on Saturday night. We did Valentine's with another couple. Ooh. So it wasn't super romantic. Because <laughs> you're nothing with another couple, uh -huh. you know. Okay, is it a timed event? Is it? <laughs> Why does everything have to be a competition with you? Because <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> <laughs> ones are in. Okay, I'm done. Mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> a lot of frosting. <laughs> a lot of frosting. I'm That's like, a lot of cookie. Where's the cookie at? That's a lot of cookie. <laughs> These are thick cookies. They are really thick. I'm surprised. I didn't think they were going to be this big. Okay, guys. Here's mine. Do you see it? <laughs> all the stuff's falling off. It is. That's all I hear is sprinkles. Okay, since you're done first, why don't you tell us today's motivation? Today's motivation is love. Love. Is it important? Is love important? To have. Well, first of all, I think the most important thing is to love yourself. Mmm. Self-love. Self-love is first. I did that over the weekend. I really don't think you can love someone else unless you love yourself oh. and know your self-worth. And then once you love yourself and know your own self-worth, mm -hmm. then I think you can love someone else. But how can you love someone else if you don't know what love's all about? That's very true. And I think the, the best way to know what love is all about is to know how to love yourself. And there's so many people out there that don't love themselves. They're very critical about themselves. They, they don't have any confidence. They don't... They don't know what their self-worth is. They just, they, they feel like they're not good enough and they're competing with everyone else. Mm -hmm. And I always try to tell people, oh, did you copy me? No, you copied me. <laughs> I was done for it. <laughs> so I just, I, you know, I think my message is that you just have to, you have to love yourself. And, and along with loving yourself comes the confidence of knowing who you are and not be so critical about yourself. You know, I have a girlfriend, a couple of girlfriends that are getting ready to start their podcast. Um, and, and one of them is, she's, she's scared to death. And I'm like, why? Just quit being so scared. Quit, quit self-doubting yourself. You know, you're going to do this. It's going to be freaking great. And if, it, it's, if it's not, it's not the end of the world. You could just say you tried? You know, because maybe, maybe you're not meant to do a podcast. But I think you are. And I know you are, because you and, and the other girlfriend are freaking hilarious, and I think the podcast is going to be a huge hit. But like I always try to tell people, even if, even if you try something and you're not successful at it and you decide it just wasn't your thing, like me as a clothing designer, mm -hmm. I, I did it. It was fun, but it just, I, I wasn't having a ton of fun. I felt like it was more work than it was fun. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, if, if it's going to feel like it's a hassle, like it's like I dread it every season, then it's not worth it. Right. So that's but why. But you tried it. You had amazing I, I collections oh and shows. And oh, we started in 2015, spring, summer. Um, and then we did fall, or no, it was fall, winter, and then we did spring, summer. But I'm just saying, we, did, we started 2014, 2015, and I did... That all the way up until 2018, and then did fitness wear, and right. so uh, I'm just saying I had a good five five years yes. of being a designer, and it was enough. I was just like, okay, yeah. I did it. It was fun, but it's just not my thing. I want to move on to other things, and so yeah, I just I think you have to. As long as you're having fun, guys, then it never feels like you're having to work. Does that make sense? That's the secret. The secret is to find something that you truly, truly enjoy doing and that you have fun at and you just wake up every morning and it's just fun. I mean, you're, there's going to be work involved because it has to be. Yeah. But you got to have fun. got to have fun. Here. Okay. You know what? I'm just going like to step away from it because okay. it's not when it comes. So, there's our cookies. Can you see them? <laughs> kind of look alike. <laughs> Just inverted colors. <laughs> <laughs> so leave your comments below. Either my cookie or Mr. Fab's cookie. Or maybe it's a tie. Maybe it's a tie. <laughs> yes! So much fun. Come.
says, I see that door open. There's my, there's my buddy Teresa. Hi, Scooter. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What's my baby doing? Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hi, Scooter. Hi, baby. Hi, Scooter. Hi, baby. How are you? Hello. Good to see you. Hello. Oh, my Scooter. I'm just going to give kisses and hugs. Yes. Hi, Zilla. Here's my baby. Here's my baby. That's my baby horse, huh? Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, you want to want to be at my Valentine's Day? Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, you get my daily dose of love. Hello. He says, how come your grass is so green over here? <laughs> I want to come over here where the grass is. He's so like, green. it looks yummy. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Good kisses. Kisses. I get kisses, huh? You so pretty without that that flying mask on. Yeah, mm -hmm. see your beautiful face. Your pretty, pretty brown eyes. Look at there. Look at there. Oh. Kisses. 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 Aww. Aww. Unconditional love. <laughs> that's what that's called. Look at there. Look at there. Reels in the background. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Makes me want to get a horse. <laughs> but I just come get loves from Scooter every day. Oh, yeah. I don't have to get a horse. I got Scooter. I got Scooter to give me loves. What? You're going to eat my t-shirt? <laughs> I'm going to eat my t-shirt. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. See? It's called unconditional love. Very therapeutic. If you're ever having a bad day. I'm coming here and talk to Scooter. Just come out here and hang out with Scooter. Scooter will listen. Scooter will listen. Huh. Scooter will give you loves. Huh. Scooter give you love. He's a pity. He's a pity. He's so pity. He's so pity. Yeah. Country living. I'm telling you it's the best, guys. It's not quiet. He's so pity. He says, you just need to leave this open so I can see you all the time, Teresa. Huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rio's over there peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. A flood. A flood. Hello. Hello, Scooter. Hello. Oh. 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 <laughs> you can't eat that shirt. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to give me some of that grass. Give me that shirt. It's a nice shirt you got there. <laughs> Let me see if I can get you some grass. Get you some good green grass over there. Oh. Ooh, yeah. That's some good green grass. He's like, that's exactly mm, what I want. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Some good green grass. Oh, Rio says, but what about me? But what about me? <laughs> Rio says, I'd want some. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, Rio. Oh, yeah, Rio says, yeah, <laughs> I got some. I got some. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Uh, are you going to eat my... <laughs> I don't know if those are as fresh, Rio. <laughs> are you going to eat my pygmy dates? He's like, I heard you wanted to trim them back, so <laughs> I'll be out there. <laughs> <That's pretty horses. laughs> All right, let's close this up for you, sir. <laughs> He's like, I need to have some of that. <laughs> You're going to trim off all the dead stuff for me? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that was too funny. Oh, my God. That was so funny. <laughs> oh. Couldn't it just stay like this fab till June? For real. I would not have a problem with no that. No humidity, 70 degrees. Beautiful. Oh, we need to go back into that noisy house. Do we? <laughs> you want the office to be out here? Let's just walk this way. I'm about to move that like office over there in that barn. Give us some more grass. I'm surprised they're not knocking on it. <laughs> right. Get the new house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're like, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Got to go. I got to go to work. Got to go to work. I'll catch you later, okay? Okay. Okay. Move your head. Oh. Move your head. Okay, bye. <laughs> got to move your head. <laughs> Like, you don't spoil me with a little bit of grass. <laughs> and then leave. Shut the door on my face. 
Hell no, he got me some, got me some green grass. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, Scooter. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> He's really nudging that door. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're going to close it? Funny. <laughs> He's like, all right. He's like, all right, I'll let you go. <laughs> so oh. Oh, I love country life. I love those neighbors. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, how can you just not be happy? You, you have the best neighbors. I know. I know. <laughs> Look, he's coming back to the He's like, uh, hello. Peeking through the... <laughs> I know. He's like, get that damn door out. Yes, look what they're installing today. Puppy fencing. Yes. So... My dogs are good escape artists. For some reason, they have been able to crawl under the fences. So we are now installing puppy fencing so that it will help keep them in here. So hopefully they won't be crawling under this gate anymore. And I'll be able to just turn them loose out here on their own and not have to babysit them. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Planting more palm trees. Love it. It's so beautiful out here, guys, today. Oh my God. So nice. Look at my babies. Look at my babies. Look at my babies. They're called knockout roses. Ooh. So I don't know how many set in here. I didn't count. Doesn't look like 70. But these are all knockout roses and they're red. So. I thought the outside of my gate, the outside of my wall, mm -hmm. was kind of all white. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to put some color out here. So they are literally digging rose bush bed. I think the rose bush bed is, so you can kind of see the color on that side. We'll cut all of that out and literally that'll be a mold filled with rose bushes and black mulch. I love I think that's gonna look pretty. Very so pretty. All red roses along here. <gasps> oh I love that. Yeah. Good idea. Because it just looked like just a big old white wall, you know? Oh, that's going to look so pretty when they bloom. Let's put some red roses out here. Yeah. Love. Love. Yay. And now they're getting ready to start on the other side. Okay, let's play a little game right here. How many roses of these buckets do you think are in here? Comment down below and guess the number. Because me and Teresa thought it was one number, and the guy told us how many actually are there, and we were like, oh. So, comment below and guess the number. So, guys, what we day. have found some quiet space. Listen. Hmm. <laughs> Whose phone was that? Just when you think you have quiet. <laughs> but for the most part, it's quiet. Yes. They're still working. Yeah, they're, they're still making all that noise still, over there. Y'all just can't hear. We just, we just made it, got up here where it's a little quieter. <laughs> so, we thought we'd come up here, get some quietness in, and... Um, do a little Valentine's questionnaire. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it. Just three little questions just to mm -hmm. you know, ask us some stuff. A little personal. Questions. A little personal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. I'm going to go. Start it off. I'm going to go first. So my first question. If the perfect person came into your life right now, describe what they would be like or look like. Oh, tall, dark, and handsome. Wearing a suit, ready to just lift me up and take care of my life. <laughs> Tall. No, I think he looked so buff, tall. Latino. Tall, like six foot, six two. I would love for him to be tall. If not tall, at least same height. That's cool. But if he's shorter and the wallet's fatter, <laughs> who knows? You might like a little short we squatty. Why? I don't know. <laughs> How does that wallet look? How does that bank account look? Is it more than six figures? Is it, how are we looking here? Okay. <laughs> so you want to be taken care of. They don't. Probably not. I mean, I can do some things that'll take care. <laughs> Six inches or ten inches? How do you like your stem roses? I was. Do you prefer six? Inches? I was letting my mind go in the gutter <laughs> for a minute there. <laughs> I was like two, Ooh, ten inches. <laughs> How do you like your roses to look? 
Uh, of course, long stem roses. Mm -hmm. I love some long stem roses. Now, in my gar my flower beds, mm -hmm. I like my knockout roses to mm -hmm. grow pretty tall mm -hmm. and just be really full and beautiful. But in my other beds, I like them to be the miniature tiny roses so they just don't get... Because, you know, sometimes a, a rose bed can take over. Mm -hmm. It can, like, be a lot. Be you saw it in my other house. Mm -hmm. I, has, I had some rose beds that were, like, phew, taken over the place. So... Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So you have to keep them contained. Okay, but, so you like the long roses. Yeah, the long stem long roses. Stem. Yep. Yep. Love okay, love. number two. Do you ever see yourself married or just with someone forever? Not really. I've never been the type to fantasize about getting married, having kids. I'd rather find that perfect partner and we'd be good. Or I think I'm content with myself sometimes. But I don't have the fantasy of like, oh, I want a wedding someday and a family. And I don't... It's not in my DNA. Like, I don't really care for it, honestly. It's kind of like when I was single for 16 years mm -hmm. after my divorce. Yeah. People were like, well, don't you fantasize about being married again yeah. and, and I'm like no no I was perfectly happy being single mm -hmm. I had my gala guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had my date night fun guys <laughs> I had my booty call you're never really guys. alone <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> but I was I mean yeah. I was alone yeah but I could call different people if I wanted different types of company yeah you know so I think sometimes it's good to be alone because you really, and that's when I read a lot of self-help books when I was alone. And I just, I, I, I think sometimes you need to spend some time bettering yourself before you decide to bring someone else into your world. Right. You know, because I want, I wanted to make sure I was giving that next person the best version of me. I like that. So. I like that. Okay. Okay. Dark or white? Chocolate. Which do you prefer? What is your favorite? What is Chocolate. your taste? Chocolate. Mm. Dark not dark cho chocolate? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, not white chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah. White chocolate's too sweet. Yeah? Dark chocolate's got a little bitterness to it. But you like a mousse chocolate. Which one was it? White chocolate? No. I, and when it comes to my frozen non-fat yogurt, uh -huh. I like white chocolate mousse. Mm. I don't think Fat free. That. Yes, you have. Have I? Well, one time I took us to TCBY. Yogurt. I don't remember. And we ordered those shivers. Oh, yeah, those were good. Yeah, and that was oh, yeah, that was fat-free white chocolate mousse, those frozen were, yogurt. Those and then you got to add whatever candy. Yeah, you wanted. I remember those were delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm just not a candy person. No. You don't see me eating chocolate. You don't mm -hmm. you see me. I have like all these containers of cookies and candies. Oh, and I should have did you a heart-shaped salad. That would have been cute. Yeah. Next year, I'll note it. <laughs> okay, number three. Would you ever move somewhere else for someone or make them move to Houston for you? I'd have to be really, really, really in love to move away from home because I'm all about my home and family and to leave here, we'd have to be really, like, been dating for a long time and strong because I don't know. <laughs> They'd have to move here. Because yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to move. I'd be in and out of town. I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go home and visit for the weekend. <laughs> Every weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> He's like, where are you going? Oh, home up to see family. But that's every weekend. Well, well. <laughs> pack your bags, let's go. My heart belongs in Texas. Oh, see. A southern see, gal. See, see. Okay. Would you prefer a huge Valentine experience they plan out? every single detail to like the tea or would you rather get a very huge luxurious gift which which do you prefer oh the experience really oh, oh yeah yeah because you gotta remember when you're on your deathbed you can't take the lamborghinis and the thirty thousand square foot house and... bury me in the car on the ground <laughs> on the front but <laughs> you can take those memories with you you can lay on your deathbed and remember all those fabulous amazing experiences and mm -hmm. trips that you got to have in life. They're priceless. Yeah. I mean, to this day, I talk about that South African trip I did with a safari and everything in 2005. To this day, talk about it. So yeah, I mean, like that Australian trip, uh, later part of 2006, you know, we swam the Great Barrier Reef, you know, got dropped on uh, by helicopter on a beach called Whitehaven Beach. It's the whitest beach in the world, you know. 
And they were like, here, here's a picnic basket full of champagne and wine and cheese and crackers. We'll be back in two hours. And I'm like, what are we supposed to do for two hours? My husband was like. It was just y'all on that beach? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing for two hours? My husband was like, mm. And just this basket of survival. <laughs> well, two hours. But what if no one came back into it? <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, and then I was like, you know, my husband was like, mm. and I'm like, yeah, somebody's probably got a hidden camera somewhere watching us, you know. Like, the helicopter looked like it flew away, but did he just fly away to the hill? Is he sitting up on the hill with his binoculars? <laughs> but it was, like, so much fun. Like, like, yeah. trip of a, we'll you know, love one of the back. very many trips of a lifetime that I've ever taken. Like, so I, I would take an experience way more than expensive gifts. I can, I can buy my own expensive gifts every day of the week if I want. If I want another Rolls Royce, go get one. If I want another house... In the mountains, I'll go get one. If I want this, I mean, like, I can just, if I want a new Rolex, I'll go, I mean, like, I can just, I can afford to buy expensive gifts all the time, but give me an experience, you got me. Yes. Like, hands down. So I heard you got a little Valentine's surprise for our viewers here. Yes, we are going to do a giveaway. Yes, yes, we're doing a mystery box, beauty box giveaway. Yes, we thought it would be fun, fun, fun to give away some beauty products and a crisp $100 bill. Oh. Who can't use money, right? Even if it's 100 bucks. So, yeah. yeah, so I need everybody out there, if you want to enter this contest, you need to spam the hell out of me with the lipstick emoji. Then go to... Fab's page and spam the hell out of him with hearts oh. and kisses because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and he needs all the love. <laughs> he needs all the love. So next Monday, when they're hopefully installing those panoramic doors, Ooh. I don't know, we've ran into a little glitch. Uh -oh. I've been on the phone a lot this afternoon with... It'll come through, it'll come through, it'll come through. Come on, manifestation. Oh, you have some big stuff coming up. You guys are going to see... There's a lot of big changes coming. Oh, Lord. So You, you guys know, thought it was a lot now? Just We're wait. supposed to be putting those panoramic doors in next week. Then the big, huge still beam comes in. All those doors and windows come out in the kitchen. Like major, major transformation. Just wait till they get to your bedroom. We got some stuff happening in the next 30 days. It'll blow your socks off, guys. We're not moving fast enough. <laughs> blow your socks off. <laughs> so if you want to get entered into the contest, the beauty box, mystery box giveaway, and crisp $100 bill, spam me with lipstick emojis, tag a friend, mm -hmm. follow me on Instagram, spam the hell out of Fab with lips and kisses and whatever you want to throw his way since we'll it's Valentine's watching. Day. And um, They have a week, right? So next a Monday? Week, a week. Next Monday, we will pick the winner. So, what a day. What a day. I mean, like, we've had, it's, it's been one of those weird days. I thought it was Friday. The I whole literally day. thought it was Friday. Or, it feels like a Friday. <laughs> it just, it, it's. I'm like, oh, the weekend's tomorrow. <laughs> uh, no, it's Tuesday tomorrow, sweetie. <laughs> and I got new furniture arriving tomorrow. You so, do. we're going to be filming that. And then Wednesday, we've got all oh, kinds of Wednesday fun stuff. Oh, Wednesday, we have a good idea to mm, film. Yeah, so we got a lot, a lot, a lot happening. So, anyways, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Kisses and hugs and smooches to everyone out there. Be safe. Don't eat too much chocolate and fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Safe sex. Don't. <laughs> Use a condom. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be having a lot of babies. A, a lot, lot of babies. Babies. A lot of babies come. Uh, oh, wait. What is it? Nine months from now? Yeah. <laughs> In the fall. In the fall, we have some babies. <laughs> so anyways, guys, happy Valentine's Day. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.